I've had my geothermal heat pump now for two years, and there's something odd that I never expected when living with it. I never touch or change the temperature on my thermostat, ever. In every house I've lived in before, I'd have my smart thermostat constantly adjusting the temperature. Drop it to 65 degrees Fahrenheit when you're at work, bump it up to 72 degrees Fahrenheit when you get home, and maybe lower it overnight while you're asleep. That's what most of us do, right? Well, wrong, at least for geothermal. Geothermal systems actually work best when you limit how often you change the temperature. The ground loop provides a massive thermal buffer because the Earth's temperature stays constant underground. The high thermal inertia means the system is slower to ramp up or down, so instead of constantly cycling on and off, trying to play catch up like a conventional system, it just maintains a steady, comfortable temperature with incredible efficiency. I keep mine set between 72 and 75 degrees Fahrenheit all year round. That's it. This is the most comfortable house I've ever lived in. But here's the part that really blows my mind. My operating costs for the entire year are only about $700. That's $60 per month to heat and cool my entire house in Massachusetts where we get hot, humid summers and cold winters. Want to know what's even crazier? My server rack in a hallway closet consumes 17.8% of my total energy use. My HVAC system? It's just 14.8%. My home office tech setup uses more power than heating and cooling my entire house. For comparison, heating and cooling typically accounts for about 52% of a home's yearly energy use here in the US. Even if you remove my computer setup and EV charging from the mix, my HVAC is only around 20.8% of my energy use. That's the power of geothermal.